thought it was a little odd that Norman Lear, this Jewish guy from New Haven, Connecticut, could single-handedly create every single groundbreaking television show featuring working-class black families in the 70s. But when I first heard that there was a black man who was accusing Norman Lear of poaching his ideas and not giving him the proper credit, I have to admit, I was a little skeptical. I had to fight and argue with Norman Lear for three years to show a complete black family on television. Eric Monte, who suffered with drug addiction, homelessness, and eventually lost everything he had, says Norman Lear stole his ideas for shows like Good Times, The Jeffersons, Sanford and Son, and claimed them as his own, cheating Monte out of creator credits and millions of dollars. a husband on the show. They wanted to do it without a husband. And she said, no, I want a husband on the show because I was raised with a, a father and a mother, and I wanted America to see that black men stay with their families and raise their children. Mm -hmm. Ron Lear came to me, and he offered me $1 million for a settlement. And I said, for all those shows, no way. So the lawyers came to me, and they said, look, take that money, because you still have your suit against the networks and the others. But at least we'll get paid. So when the papers came down, all the defendants were listed. So I said, I didn't agree to this. They said, either you take this, or we're walking off the cake. I went all over Los Angeles, looking for lawyers to represent me. I had the evidence and everything, okay? No lawyer in that town would take that my the question case. is the indelible legacy that Eric Monte has left on the culture with the characters and stories that he brought us, regardless of whether he will ever receive his proper recognition or not. Yeah. Yeah.